This is an instructional presentation to show you how to use the MBOSS system to file for your retirement. This is simply an instructional video which shows you how to apply for retirement. All of the other topics that are briefly discussed in this are covered in other presentations on this retirement guide. Please visit our website or contact our office if you have any more specific questions. As of October 1st of 2012, all members are required to file their application using the MBOSS system. This includes disability retirement applications and regular retirement applications. If you are not registered with the MBOSS system, you can visit our website and register. Registration is free, it is easy, it takes about five minutes, and there are instructions available on how to register for MBOSS. To get from the home screen to the retirement application is two mouse clicks. On the home screen you will see a button that is labeled retirement. If you click on that button it will bring you to another screen and you'll see a button that is labeled retirement application. If you click on that button that will get you to the retirement application. Even before you get to the retirement application itself, you will see a Terms and Conditions page. It is very important that you read this and understand it before you click and go onto the application itself. Understand that you may only apply for retirement up to one year ahead of time, and that once you file for retirement, we will notify your employer that you have filed. If you would like to get a retirement estimate at this time, you can. Hopefully you have gotten a retirement estimate before you're actually filing for retirement, but if you would like a new one, you can go on and follow the instructions here to get a new one. On the first screen, we will ask for your basic information. In most cases, the address that is going to pop up will not be your current address. Please enter the current address, phone number, and most importantly, make sure that your email address is correct. This is how we will communicate with you during the retirement process. If we do not have your proof of age on file, we will ask you to send that in to us and tell you how to do that. On the next screen, we're going to ask you for three different things. First will be your date of retirement. This must be the first of a month and can only be within one year. We'll ask for your type of retirement. We will also ask if you have purchased any service credit in the last six months. That way we can pull the application and get it processed more quickly for you. The next two screens will ask for your marital status and any children under the age of 18 that you may have. This is because there are survivor benefits for both your surviving spouse or partner and your surviving eligible children. The following screen will ask for beneficiaries for your group life insurance benefit. You will name primary beneficiaries and contingent beneficiaries. You may name as many beneficiaries as you like. When you are finished, you will click on continue and that will take you to the next screen. At this point, the MBOSS system will show you a summary screen of everything that you have entered. You may go back in and make changes by clicking on the headings. Once you are satisfied, you will click on yes. A box will come up and ask you if you are sure that you want to submit this retirement application and you will click on yes at that time. At this point, we will ask you to print your retirement application and give you a printable version. We will send you an email confirmation and we will contact your employer typically within 48 hours to get salary information. If you wish to make any changes at this point, you must do them through the MBOSS system. If you have any additional questions, you may visit our website and go to the MBOSS User's Guide at the address listed below. You may also contact our office for help on MBOSS.